What's going on everybody? Henry here again with McPhee Ford and today we're going to be talking about my top five favorite things that I love about this Bronco. We've had this for a couple months now. This is our dealer demo. It's a 2021 Wild Track uh, in Cyber Orange. Uh, fully loaded, fully kitted out. It's the four door obviously you can see behind me here. So we're going to talk about the five favorite things that I like the most about the all new sixth generation Ford Bronco. Let's get into it. <laughs> All right, everyone, so the first thing I want to talk about that I like the most about the Bronco is actually the pricing. Uh, you can get into a base model Bronco for 2021 right around that $41,000 range for a two-door, which is uh, a lot less than a, than a Jeep Wrangler. And if you want something that's a little bit more off-road focus, actually, well, instead of a little bit more off-road focus, we're talking about the Badlands trim level here. That's going to be your total off-road capable badass Bronco. That's going to be your sway bar disconnect in the front, trail turn, all the off-road technology that you need to keep you going off-road as far back into the woods as humanly possible. And those start around 53.8 for the, for the Badlands trim level. And then if you want something like this, the, the four-door wild track, you know, you're talking in that range of about a $57,000 spec, uh, and then you can add options on from there. And uh, so that's the number one thing that I like most about the Bronco. So let's talk about number two. All right, so for number two, I wanna talk about the different engine options that are available in the full-size Bronco. So base engine is a 2.3 liter four-cylinder, about 270 horsepower and 310 foot-pounds of torque. That's available with either a seven-speed manual transmission or the 10-speed automatic. And the 2.3 liter four-cylinder, it's not, it's a small engine, but it's not, uh, it's not over, or it's not underpowered in the Bronco. It's, uh, it's gonna be fuel efficient, it's gonna have enough power, and uh, it's gonna be able to get the job done both on and off-road. Now, if you go with this, if you go with the Wild Track or every other option level, you can spec the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6. Ford's had that engine out forever now, and it's an absolute workhorse. Makes about 310 horsepower and 400 foot pounds of torque, which is plenty enough. This thing is a rocket ship with the 10 speed transmission. And that's number two. That's the second thing that I really like about the Bronco or the two different engine options. So you get the 2.3 four cylinder and the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6. Now let's talk about number three. All right guys, so for number three, number three thing that I like on the new Bronco, is the interior switch gear. So what I mean by that is in the center console here, you have a whole bunch of different switches that are very easy to use and they, you know, they actually control a lot of different functions. So if you look up top here, you have all your locking differential options, front and rear, your trail turn assist uh, button there, you just click on that and it actually, that's actually locks up one of the rear tires when you're making a turn and it helps you, uh, helps you turn a little bit better, but I digress from that. Coming down here, everything here is very familiar with Ford. Everything's very, very easy to use, very straightforward, volume knobs, tuning knobs, climate controls, so on and so forth. But the thing that I like the most about the switches is actually the four wheel drive selector and the GOAT mode enablers. So all you do for changing the different GOAT modes, which stands over for go over all terrains, is you literally just sit here and you spin the bottom. And then in the center screen, it actually changes the drive modes and shows you what different options you're in. And then to change the four wheel drive or four wheel automatic or so on, you actually just, with the push of a button, you just push right here and it, uh, it changes four wheel drive, locks differentials, all that good stuff. And then the window controls are actually in the middle on the new Bronco, because obviously you can take the doors off. So uh, no wires coming out of the doors or anything like that, no switch gear. So they're actually all in the middle, front and rear. They're all, uh, they're all put right in the middle along with the mirror controls. Up top here, you do have your auxiliary switches. So if you want to put on light bar, light bar, light bar, light bar, light bar, and another light bar, you definitely can, or you can hook on train horns or winches or what have you, but I'd have all six of these running as, as light bars. So that's just me. But yeah, let's move on to the fourth thing that I like most about the Bronco. All right, guys, so moving on to number four, the fourth thing I like most about the Bronco is on the Sasquatch package, you get 35 inch beadlock mud terrain tires from the factory. Now, these don't drive like regular mud tires. I've had mud tires on a couple of trucks and they drive like, they drive like crap. They drive, they're noisy, they vibrate. Ford actually uh, designed that out of the suspension and in the steering wheel, you don't feel any sort of vibrations with the 35 inch mud tires. And I just think it's really cool that, uh, that Ford sells the Bronco with beadlock 35 inch mud tires straight from the factory. No modifications necessary. You don't need to put a lift kit to run 35s. This comes with it right out of the factory. So that's number four. Now let's talk about number five. And 
probably the biggest thing about the Bronco, and that's the roof is able to come off and the doors are able to come off. But let's spin around to the other side and we'll talk about that over here. So last but not least, guys, let's talk about the doors and the roof and how they come off of this thing. Now, we're not gonna do that today. It's cold outside. We don't wanna take the doors and roof off, but we do have a couple of pictures of it in our showroom from a couple months back when it was summer. We took the doors and the roof off and it takes about two or three minutes per door and about 15, 20 minutes for the, for the, for the roof. So as you guys know, the Ford Bronco's biggest competitor right now is the Jeep Wrangler. And the Jeep forever has been able to take the doors and the roof off, but that's about it. With the Bronco, especially on a four door only, you can actually take all four doors off and stick them in the back. So let's say you're, let's say it's super nice out someday, you're driving around in the summer, you wanna take the doors off. It takes 20, 30 minutes to take all four doors off. You put them in the bags that come in the back, they strap in, you lose all your trunk space, but you get your doors off, so who cares? Uh, you can put them in the back and you can drive around with your doors on. You don't have to leave them at home. And with the roof, it comes off in four different sections. So up here on the front, you have two different sections that can come off. This back piece here is all one piece goes across and then this whole back panel lifts off, it exposes your roll cage and all that stuff. So you can drive around with the doors and roof off. You can't take the roof with you, but you can take the doors with you in case it starts to rain or gets a little bit cold out. And the last thing I wanna mention about taking the doors off is on a Jeep Wrangler, you take the doors off, you don't have any mirrors. It's kind of annoying, right? You're driving on the highway, you don't have any mirrors. Ford thought of that. So if you look here, you open the door, the mirror doesn't move. That's because the mirror is actually mounted to the front of the vehicle. So even when you have your doors and your roof off, you still have full visibility, your blind spot detection and everything like that still works. So you still have the, the safety and the, the comfort of driving around with having mirrors on. Uh, something Ford really thought about on that. So kudos to them and, uh, and yeah. So guys, this is it. This is the five things that I like most about the brand new Bronco. If you're interested in one of these, ordering one, picking one up, or taking this one for a test drive, give me a shout, guys, 902-434-7700. All the best. See you later.